Hey there, everybody. How's it going? How you guys doing today? I know we uh, had a break week, so it's been a minute since I've had a chance to chat with everybody. Um, very gracious for the uh, obviously larger amount of users hopping in today. Uh, right off the bat, usually we see it, um, you guys take a little bit longer to kind of be like, oh, he's on. Um, but I'm very grateful for the, uh, the happy attitude, the excitement, and lots of the uh, chatters in the chat right now. Awesome stuff. As you guys know, for those that do know the format of today, we have a AMA guest, and then um, that usually lasts around 30 to 45 minutes. And then for the remainder of the hour, I stay on with you guys. and We chat about different things in the Galaxy community um, and different things in the crypto space. But today we have it on an awesome guest. We have Kronos with us. We have JJ and we have Kieran. Super excited to chat with them. Um, I'll let you guys know just a bit of the structure for today. We're going to talk about uh, you know, a, a deeper dive into Kronos Chain. They're also going to cover the really amazing campaign that's been launched uh, with Galaxy as well. So I'm very excited for that. Um, and, and so obviously, without further ado, um, you know, welcome here and welcome, JJ. Um, I'll, I'll start with you guys um, with introductions. And while we do those introductions, guys, during the questions as well, feel free to interact in the chat and ask questions. And as you guys know, we can pick out some questions in the meantime. Um, but with that, we'll start with uh, JJ, and then we'll go to Hiran. Just feel free to introduce yourself. Um, you know, let us know a bit about your background, your crypto background, and what you're doing currently at Kronos. Hey, uh, yeah, happy to be here. So, uh, hello everyone. Yeah. I'm JJ. Uh, so I've been in the crypto space for six years now. Uh, so I'm a frequent user of decentralized applications. Uh, so they have an NFT from time to time. Uh, at Kronos Labs, uh, so primarily responsible for supporting anything that's related to community and also uh, marketing methods. Awesome, very exciting stuff. Here, feel free to go ahead. Yeah, sure. Hi guys, um, really great to be here. I'm Hrin from Kronos Labs. Um, and just a little bit of background. So Kronos Labs is the startup accelerator and ecosystem development arm for Kronos Chain. So in my role, I'm responsible for building awareness of the Kronos Chain ecosystem towards not just the end users, but towards developers as well. So, and that's also to engage them so they understand better about what, what it's all about and what they can do within the ecosystem space. And in terms of my background, so I've been in marketing within the Web2 gaming space and strangely enough, in the maritime industry as well, so, which may or may not have subconsciously played a part in the naming of our Galaxy campaign, which is, you know, as you know, a summer cruise. Very fun. So, yeah, and I've been in crypto for more as a retail investor since 2017. And so finally, last year, I decided to sort of, you know, make my passion my job. And that's when I joined Kronos Labs. And, you know, it, yeah, I mean, it's been a really exciting journey ever since. Yeah, I, I agree. And I think that it, it is really easy to just have a lot of fun be, being a retail investor. So I, I totally get that. Uh, but yeah, there's a certain point for myself too, where it was like, you know, why not? Yeah. So uh, very fun. I'm glad to have you guys here. Um, thank you for the intros. We can um, go ahead and we're going to start today with, you know, just an overview and a little deep dive um, of Kronos Chain. So we'll start with this question. And um, so I'm going to go with these to to hear it. And then also, if you'd like, JJ, at any point, same with you here. And if, if either of you is answering a question, you feel like you have more to add on, feel free to just chime in, cut me off, let me know, and uh, we can add in that extra piece of uh, topical conversation. So um, we'll start with here. But can you give us a sort of uh, a basic overview of Kronos Chain and its different core features? Um, you know, what, what sets it apart from the other pieces uh, in the platform, in the market? Yeah, sure. So um, Kronos is a, it's a layer one blockchain, so which means it's a permissionless network. So in that sense, any developer can create and deploy an application on it. And of course, anyone can then interact with the various applications available on Kronos chain. So I would say there are three main characteristics that set Kronos apart. So first off, there's the partnership with Crypto.com. So that was from when the Very chain nice. first started. Yeah, and, um, and Crypto.com has been participating in Kronos as an open source project until today continues to support the ecosystem. So why this is important is that when you look at crypto holders around the world, right? So 80% of them, they, they still trade primarily on uh, centralized exchanges. And, and these would then be that next generation of users that would 
gradually become more and more comfortable with self-custody, DeFi, NFTs, and, and Web3 gaming. So by partnering with Crypto.com, this really provides them a really easy on-ramp and off-ramp experience for, for, the, for the people who are you know, less comfortable with self-custody and you know, interacting with smart contracts. So, and, and furthermore, when we look and think about the years ahead, you know, when regulations become increasingly important, that's when banks are going to sort of be looking at the source of where your funds coming from, etc. And, and having that integration and that backing from an ecosystem standpoint, this, this will make it extremely um, convenient for those users. So yeah, I mean, uh, the second point, so Kronos is the leading EVM chain built on Cosmos SDK. So what this means is that it's interoperable with both these chains. So in essence, any chains which are derived from Ethereum, so of course there's Ethereum, BNB chain, Polygon, etc. And, and also the other chains that are part of the Cosmos ecosystem. So in that sense, you know, from a, coming from a technical standpoint, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to leverage the best of both these worlds. Mm -hmm. So if you look at Ethereum, you know, it has a large developer community. It has like tons of extensive tooling. And this makes it easy for developers to port over their dApps to Kronos very easily. So, and then when you talk about, you know, the Cosmos ecosystem, that's a, it's a very agile one. Um, they have a very dedicated community of developers are constantly working together to, you know, to create modules and functionalities. So what we're trying to do here essentially is really about you know, taking the best of these proven and, and robust technologies rather than you know, instead of trying to reinvent the wheel from scratch. And yeah, I mean, and on the last point, so thirdly, the performance and the structure of Kronos Chain. So today, Kronos is a top 10 chain in terms of the total value locked. And, and in relative to the other top 10 chains, this, um, it's a chain that's actually very well positioned in terms of you know, transaction fees, speed, mm -hmm. um, transactions per second. And I think, it, and it's also carbon neutral. So I think that's um, getting increasingly important for corporations who may want to start using blockchain technology. So from a standpoint on, on technical performance, so we, we view Kronos Chain as, you know, as, as a chain on par with the likes of you know, Polygon or Arbitrum and really any of the other modern chains which are, which are in the top tier league as well. Yeah, and, and, and that's very, very exciting to see. And, and real quick, I just want to confirm something because I've, I've also been around for, for a bit just doing like obviously investing, et cetera, like you mentioned. Um, so this is the same Kronos. You mentioned it's, you said partnership with Crypto.com. Um, this isn't the same crow, like the same Kronos from before, is it that you, you might know of the, uh, one that crypto.com launched or is it just the partnership or is it different? Is it too different? I just it's, want to confirm. A, yeah, right. So, um, yeah, it's a partnership and this is the, the crow, this was, it used to be called crypto.com, um, coin, but later ah, okay. we Kronos, yeah. So. We are using that coin as the like all your transaction and gas fees. Yes, yeah. is that coin? Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, I rem. It was I had for I had forgotten that I was um a while back, and when it first launched, me and some others were <laughs> we were we were like uh, participating in like the first like very early 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 projects with it, and um like obviously it was a bit of a gamble at the time because there was a lot of people that were like this new thing let's just launch a lot of uh stuff so but it was it was a fun time so i uh i definitely remember that so very cool to get to chat with you guys uh thanks for, for clearing that up just want to make sure it made sense in my head so when we we're continuing um so so on chronos there's there's obviously a lot going on right now would you be able to to cover some of the popular dApps that are on chronos right now for everybody listening yeah sure so i, I think let's start with the DeFi space so we have uh, decentralized exchanges such as VVS Finance, which stands for very, very simple finance. So that's the, the largest DEX on, um, as well as uh, other DEXs include Crodex, Kronaswap, and we also have Ferro Protocol, which specializes in low slippage swaps of stable coins and pack assets. So of course, in addition to enabling trading, these DEXs also offer reward opportunities to liquidity mm -hmm. providers. Yes. Yes. 
Oh, here, and I think you're lagging. Uh, I think we lost here and or uh, here and you accidentally muted yourself. Uh, hey, JJ, did you want to take yeah. over for a moment? Yeah, so sorry about that. My my dog is really restless and started jumping on my on my oh, keyboard. Well. <laughs> no, that. that's that's completely OK. My dog is behind me right now chewing on his uh, toy with his squeakers. So I have to try and stop <laughs> him. So. I know she's like a puppy, so she's like all over the place right now. So oh no, I I totally understand. Mine is like five five months old now, so. <laughs> okay, mine's yeah. one year, but she still acts like a three month old. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I totally yeah. get it. Yeah, feel free okay. to continue. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I'm not sure where. Maybe I'll just start from scratch again. So yeah, I mean, let's start with the DeFi space. So um, there are decentralized exchanges such as VBS Finance. So that's the largest DEX. Um, we also have CoDEX and Krona Swap, Swap, and um, another protocol called Ferro Protocol. So that's mm -hmm. that's uh, specializing in low slippage swaps of stable coins and pack assets. So I mean, in addition to just enabling trading, these DEXs also offer opportunities to a uh, reward opportunities to um, liquidity providers, and for lending and borrowing platforms. We have Tectonic, so that's the highest TVL, which has the highest TVL in terms of on the lending front on Kronos. And if you are, you know, the true gambler and DGEN, you know, and you're looking for like leverage trading, so that's uh, Fulcrum is the currently the top derivative protocol. So that offers up to seventy five times leverage, and just that's in over funny. four months, they it's already facilitated um, over three hundred million dollars in terms of trading volume. Yeah. And other than that, Mad Max is another leverage trading platform. So they have a really intuitive user interface um, and they offer up to 30x leverage with multiple trading pairs. So then now let's move on to liquid staking. So I, I would say the two top most popular dApps for liquid staking would be Argo Finance and Vino. So, so this allows users to actually stake their Crow and Atom assets. So, but while using that same derivative token for other utilities within the Kronos DeFi ecosystem. So when we look across uh, the, uh, that, we, we see that you know, so far over 100 million Cro as well as 50k Atom has already been staked. So this reflects how popular liquid staking can be. And finally, on the investment management front, Beefy and Single Finance, they offer customized strategy vaults. So that, that provides users with, you know, different passive investment management solutions. And I mean, essentially these platforms, they do all the heavy lifting for you. So that helps you to hatch your exposure to nice. market volatility. Yeah. And, you know, helps you earn stable returns without you having to do much work. Yeah. And okay. So that's on the DeFi fronts and then moving on to NFT marketplaces. So Ibisos Bay, that was the very first native um, NFT marketplace on Kronos. So it's, it's considered like the OG, you know, among the Kronos community. And there's another marketplace called Minted um, that launched last year. And it's a, it's a multi-chain NFT marketplace that's across both Ethereum as well as Kronos. So both these platforms, they function as uh, not just an NFT collection launchpad, but they've also started introducing gamified experiences uh, into their marketplaces. So for example, Minted has listing rewards, and very recently, actually, Ibisus Bay has a, has a gamified DAO governance system called um, Ryoshi Dynasties. So it allows uh, the, the users to sort of um, vote on the NFT collections that will give incentivized rewards. So, and lastly, with regards to games, now this is the top growing vertical in Kronos currently. So the most popular game Very on fun. Kronos right now is um, DigiPals. So um, that which is a gaming platform where you can use your NFTs to play multiple RPG games such as you know Tower Defense and you know many more, and um, another popular game which just launched on February uh, on Kronos is called Eyeball Games. So if you're familiar with like uh, Facebook games and you know one of the most popular games has been like Eight Ball or Nine Ball Pool. So what Eyeball Games did was to transform this Web Two game into a Web Three game. So it has NFTs and, and people can then use these NFT pool stakes to play it on nine ball pool. And lastly, that oh, is, cool. yeah, I mean, if you're a pool, uh, nine ball pool, eight nine ball pool fan, go for it. And, yeah, and lastly, sounds fun. 
Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, and there's also Argo Atlantis. So that's a sort of a resource management game where the NFT holders of Atlantis, you know, can go on planet expeditions, collect rare resources and take part in spaceship racing, which is uh, really interesting as well. Yeah, so I mean, these are, to be honest, just a very small selection of the depths on Kronos. Um, and as always, please do your own research. None of this is financial advice. And I would highly recommend visiting our Kronos Discover portal. So the URL is discover.kronos.org, um, which actually just launched this month. So now the, the mission of Kronos Discover portal is really to help users explore what they can do on Kronos by showcasing the most popular dApps. But more importantly, this portal will empower users to do their own research. So what it does is it consolidates information for each of the projects. So you have things like, you know, other than the official links to their channels, you also get links to the audit reports, risk ratings, and so on. And, and we're going to increasingly roll out more features on this portal. So you'll get things like, you know, stats like the number of active users, daily transactions, as well as links to verified smart contracts on Chronoscan. Yep, so that's about it. Yeah, it, it's, it's a very exciting ecosystem that's definitely come together. Um, it really covered everything. Yeah, um, it's like, it's very exciting. I, I love that the the game area is very popular as well. I'm big, I'm a big fan of that um, area in Web three. So we we love to chat about um, all the different Web three games that go on and, and have uh, Web three gaming partners to come on is very fun. Um, I appreciate that. It was a wonderful explanation. Very very clear and concise. So I'm, I'm excited to check out the 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 pool one you mentioned. Very interesting. I'm a big I, I love playing billiards. So it, it's super fun. Um, and if you can incorporate an NFT aspect, I think that's very cool. Um, so real quick, I, we do obviously have one more question here kind of going into the deep dive, but I did have one from the audience that I, I kind of wanted to to uh, toss to you guys as well from one of our most frequent uh, question askers, Alex Cat. Uh, I'm going to tweak your question just a little bit though, Alex. I'm just going to keep it to just the challenges. I'm curious. So obviously, Kronos, um, you know, obviously, I would say technically you know, st still newer, I would say. I wouldn't say um, you guys are old, old or anything like that yet, of course. Uh, but what would you say are the biggest sort of uh, challenges or, you know, or risks that you're you're taking right now currently, more so focused on challenges that you guys have in this space, you know, being a, you know, a full chain partner with crypto.com that you feel you've had so far and, you know, how you address those challenges and kind of overcome them? Wow, that's a, that's a really good question. Um... He has the best questions, so. I know, I know. It's like it's it's like ten ten thirty in the night for us right now. So I, I really need to crack my brains on this one. Um, I would say for the for challenges, I would say that you know there's there's just so much for us to do, and we are a, a really small team at the moment. So we're always constantly sort of looking to how we can grow our ecosystem, and um, yeah. So I I think, um. In that sense, we really appreciate when projects are constantly making the effort to come to us to share their project updates and requests for social amplifications of their campaigns and whatnot. Because and that's why we do a lot of ecosystem spotlight articles and you know monthly mm -hmm. chrono stream AMAs with the various projects. And um, yeah, and I think the other thing is also about attracting the different projects to come build on your chain. I mean, it's it's a very crowded marketplace in that sense. And, and that's why we actually launched a $100 million accelerator program. So that helps us to identify the star projects we think that Kronos users will really enjoy. Very cool. So we actually, yeah, so it's a, it's a, a program that uh, right now we're in the second cohort. We are midway through it. So there were hundreds of applications that came in. Uh, we picked out eight of the projects, which we feel are, are very promising indeed. Um, and over the next few weeks, we will start to share some of the, um, the demos with you guys on what's coming up in the ecosystem next. Yep. So I would say uh, that's one of the ways that we have sort of addressed the challenges. No, yeah, that that's perfect. I, I love the uh, dimension of the grants. So I, I, this is actually another question in the chat, but how are projects selected in that process? Is it like a pretty vigorous uh, process, like a longer, um, like what's the process of that? Like how long would you say it would take for someone to be accepted for the grant program? Okay, so I would say there are, there are two programs right now. So one is the Builders Program, which, is, um, which are typically gives out the so-called the smaller grants between like 
eight to forty k, depending on a case to case basis. The accelerate pr program is is um is more for the early stage uh, projects, that, um and that's really a much longer commitment. So that's sort of a three month program, um and 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 the different projects get introduced to. Uh, different VCs as well as have a lot of mentorship and guidance on how to sort of pitch their project and, and get funding for it as well. And there's also a lot of um, uh, seed funding that will be sort of guaranteed at the end of the accelerator program. Um, in terms of the selection progress, uh, pro, pro, uh, process, um, for the grants that is done on a periodic basis, really on a case by case, um, and that's really headed by our VP of Ecosystem and Partnerships, so Ella mm -hmm. and Jane, so they head that up. Um, and of course, they will consult with some of our various partners, like uh, within the, both on the VC side as well as the technology side as well, as well as the protocol partners. Um, and for the Accelerator program, um, typically we open up the cohort once or twice a year. And... That would be sort of a one month period where projects projects can submit their applications and it goes through a panel of judges from once again the different aspects on the technology side vcs and um, as well as the marketing side and to see which ones have the greatest promise and and that's how they select the uh, the projects that go through so out of the hundreds of applicants for the second cohort we picked out the eight which range, there are some that are on DeFi, there are some that are on AI, um, and there are some that are, there's one, there's one really interesting one called Florence, so that's about, it's a sort of a creator's platform for, um, for, for pet videos, so that, that's a really interesting that's one to fun. look out for. Yeah, I have a soft spot for that one, since, you know. Me too, me too. I love, I love very much, you know. So yeah, I think, uh, I think that could be a really interesting one to look out for. No, that's awesome. That's that's a wonderful uh, program you guys have going on. Um, thank you for the the, the wonderful explanation. Um, it's cool. Yeah, that's hard. It's tough. It's a, it's a larger. There's so much going on, and to get people to come to you is is a tough thing to do. So I applaud you for that. Um, and uh, so last but not least, um, we thank you for the wonderful kind of deep dive and overview of uh, of Chronos Chain and the many different aspects and the different things that are going on in the ecosystem. Um, you know, r r with everything we just covered, what can we expect as, you know, listeners and users and new users today? What can we expect coming up for the, uh, you know, remaining quarter three and quarter four of the year? What can we expect? You know, what may be some exciting recent developments you can share with us as well? Yeah, well, okay, this is a really broad topic. So I'm, I'm just going to sort of break it down into four aspects. Feel free. And you know, just cover one or two updates on each one. So I think first on the people level. Yeah, so I think one of the most exciting updates, at least at least personally, I feel is really exciting, is that um, optimistic layer two rollups are now available for developers to build on Kronos. So this is due to our recent partnership with Caldera. So what this means is that the average cost per transaction now becomes fifty times cheaper than the regular Kronos transaction. So that results in it being like about zero point zero two Kro, which in fiat terms it's point zero zero one US dollars. So this also enables the Kronos ecosystem to now support thousands of transactions per second, which is, you know, at least 10 to 30 times the current TPS. And, and this really helps us to set that groundwork for the verticals that we are focusing on, such as social platforms and games, which really require significant transaction volumes. And secondly, on partnerships. So since we, you know, we are talking about games, just last week, we announced a partnership with Ubisoft which is, you know, one of Very the leading... cool. Yeah, I know, right? So it's one of that's, the leading... That's leaders. awesome, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and most notably, it's like Assassin's Creed, which I'm sure a lot of you... A lot of of you course. Of. Yeah, and, <laughs> yes. um, yeah it's, it's been really great, you know, seeing our partnership with them level up over time. So, you know, just giving some background context. So Ubisoft previously was participated in our Kronos Accelerator program. So they were a startup mentor, and now they will be also joining the Kronos ecosystem as a node validator. So as a validator, Ubisoft will then contribute to the governance of the blockchain, um, as well as the approval of network updates. And why this is super important is because their feedback is going to be really, really valuable when it comes to the technology upgrades to support the gaming use cases that are going to be building on Kronos. 
Yeah, so that's on partnerships. Um, the third aspect is on the upcoming depths. So once again, very exciting um, game titles which are soon to launch on Kronos. So the first off is um, Loaded Lions Main City. So that's like a tycoon simulation game that's developed by um, you know, the popular Loaded Lions NFT collection, yeah. which we are on crypto.com and, and now they've migrated over to Kronos. And then you have Snook. So it's this an online multiplayer snake like you know IO game. So that was on Polygon, which and now it's expanding over to Kronos. Um and if you're into if you are a fan of you know Magic the Gathering, you know it's a trading card game. We have Kingdom Carnage that's coming up. So that's a real time strategy trading card game. So it's really a very similar concept to Magic the Gathering. And if you're into RPGs, we have Rebelmon, which is a virtual reality monster hunting RPG, as well as Legends of Bizogia. So that's a play to earn MMORPG by Zo Zogi Labs. Um, it used to be on, it's on Ethereum and now they're expanding over to Kronos. And finally, the fourth aspect on the events front. So next week from 31st July to 2nd August, so Monday to Wednesday, mm -hmm. we'll actually be in Korea for the uh, Seoul Web3 Festival. So we have part we've actually partnered with the City of Seoul as its official blockchain network partner. So there's going to be a hackathon coupled with workshops and various fringe activities. So for those of you who will be in Seoul next week, you can actually get the details from the website soulwebtreefestival.com. Right, so then um, shortly after that, we will be back in Korea again, in Seoul. And this time for Korea Blockchain Week. So that's taking place from 5th to 6th September. So if you, are, if you happen to be going for that event, drop by our booth. We have tons of very attractive swag to give away um, from, us, from some of our dApps as well. And finally, Cosmoverse. That's coming up next in Istanbul from 2nd to 4th October. That's where Ella will be, uh, who's our VP of Ecosystem and Partnerships, should be speaking at that conference. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much the current lineup we have. Um, uh, of course, for things like partnerships and all, we, we pretty much announce them only on the day that, you know, it's, it's pretty, kept pretty tightly under wrap, so I, I can't reveal too much at this stage. Um, but, you know, just stay up to date with the uh, latest developments by following us on Twitter, or I, I should say X, following us on X. And um, our, our handle is Kronos underscore chain. And of course, you can subscribe to our monthly Kronos newsletter on Kronos.org. So that will give you sort of the latest developments and what's going on with the different depths as well. No, that's incredibly exciting. And yeah, I am I am actually, the, the stuff you mentioned with like Ubisoft and the gaming and everything, that's super cool. And I'm also, I am a big, um, for a long time now, I collect the Magic, uh, Magic the Gathering cards. I have, I have like a big collection, so that's very exciting. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, awesome. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to, uh, I'm a bit, yeah, like it, it transferred over to NFTs, obviously, right? But uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I think so I've, a behind it, yeah. Yeah, it, it just kind of all like flow. I just, you see, it, you're like shiny these things, you know, it's, yeah, and stuff. But uh, it's an expensive yeah. hobby to be a collector, so. Yeah, I know, um, but it's so exciting when you like open a pack and you get something rare. It's like, it's the best. Oh, thing. man, there's, it is, it really is, yeah. So, <laughs> but. <laughs> um no thank you this was a wonderful deep dive into uh into chronos chain and um so yeah now we're going to kind of go right into you know the collaboration that's been going on obviously between you know both of our projects very excited to kind of cover this today so we're going to give jj a chance to cover some stuff now very exciting um and jj before we begin as well someone was curious in the chat i think um if jj was a moniker for anything in particular um, I think there's someone from the Kronos community as well, possibly. Feel free to just oh, this, give, this, that, give that an answer for fun. Yeah, that's just a acronym for my name. Yeah. So my, my name is actually Jia Jun. So I think that's oh, how to okay. pronounce for most people. So just keep it short. Uh, make it easier. It's a JJ. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Sometimes it can be it can be tough when obviously we have so many people um from different places in the world sometimes it's just tough for people to get names right so i totally agree on making it more simple but i myself i just have a simple name so it's not too difficult <laughs> but uh appreciate it so yeah let's let's go ahead and we'll, we'll dive into you know this collaboration and um you know between you know and also here and feel free to jump in as well and jj back and forth however you guys want to do this um but we're going to start with 
you know, why Kronos and, and Galaxy? You know, how did this collaboration, you know, come about? And, you know, with this campaign, sort of what, what's the inspiration leading into this? Okay, maybe I'll take that one. Um, so coming yes, from a apologies. marketing and yeah, sure. So coming from a, a marketing and community perspective, I mean, we are we're always looking out for new Web three tools that can you know help attract users and engage our communities on Kronos. I think the challenge that we have constantly been facing while trying out different tools was that most do not have on chain tracking. It's it's very Web two technology. So hence, it became a very manual process when it came to collecting wallet addresses and you know distributing the rewards. So when we saw that Galaxy had the has the capability for tracking on chain actions and automating the airdrops, so as well as you know you guys have so many interesting reward options like your mystery boxes, your dynamic NFTs for loyalty programs. So all this became really interesting for us, and so we just knew we had to explore this further with you guys. And not to mention, Galaxy has such a huge community. It's like more than 4 million users. And by the looks of this chat, wow. I mean, you guys have such a really active community, like 2,000 overview the audience. That's phenomenal. So, I mean, that really compelled us to, you know, want to kickstart this uh, Chrono Summer Cruise campaign with you guys as soon as possible as a pilot program, even though at this stage, we aren't even fully integrated yet with Galaxy at this stage. So please bear with us on, on this pilot program. And... As for the inspiration behind the naming of Kono Summer Cruise, um, as shallow as it sounds, we, we happen to be talking about our summer plans within the team. So we thought, you know, it would be a nice sort of backdrop for the campaign, you know, since holidays are something that you know, everyone can relate to very cheerfully. So the concept behind it is that, you know, you are taking a space cruise and exploring Kronos planet and, and visiting these different cities which are represented by various depths within the ecosystem. Yeah, so I mean, that's pretty much the inspiration behind it. No, I, I love it. And, you know, obviously, as you guys know, we're a big fan of the space theme as well, right? So considering the name especially, but um, we, I've always loved that. Yeah, and I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's nice, exciting. Um, it it's gives people the feeling they can kind of, you know, relax and participate. It's not something stressful to get involved in. It's fun. So um, I, I love the theme that you guys have gone with. So let's dive into... Um, how it works, of course. And so this this is going to be very fun to talk about. I love exciting and creative uh, quests and campaigns. It, it's just so fun because I, I get all the feedback here, right, in our in our community. It, it, and it is very, it's very large. Sometimes. And there's a lot of people chatting, but it means you get the best feedback. So it's very exciting. Um, and yeah, guys, while we're having this discussion as well, and I'll go right into the question in a second, make sure you guys check the Galaxy Radio in um, stage chat. Uh, Ilya Quasar is going to be sharing all of the links as we go along with this discussion. So, um, so JJ, how does it work? Can you give us an overview on this campaign so far? Um, you know, as well as what type of rewards participants can expect? Oh yeah, sure, sure. So, um, so our objective for the Chrono Summer Cruise campaign is really to provide a hands-on and educational experience uh, for users. So if you have not uh, use chronos before this is like the perfect chance for you to really kind of explore some of the depths that we have mm. um so for this pilot campaign uh we actually came up with some of our most popular decks on chronos so we have vvs uh, so the most popular tech on chronos uh we have tectonic as well so it's a lending and borrowing protocol mm -hmm. um so we know uh liquid staking for our CRO token and also Atom token um, so there's Falcrum, a perpetual trading protocol. Um, there's Faro, which is a stable swap. And then there's Minted NFT marketplace on Kronos. Um, and then there's Kronos ID, the uh, identification layer for Kronos. Oh, sorry, did your, did your mic cut out at the end there? Would you mind saying that last one one more time? Ah, so, that, so the last one, the last step that we have is Kronos ID. So it's an identification layer. For Kronos. Oh, very cool. Okay, and, and and what kind of rewards can we expect? Uh, can the users expect to see? Ah, so we have a total price pool of 20k uh, worth of CRO tokens. Um, there's also a special Discord role and seven exclusive NFTs. Um, so throughout the campaign, 
um, there are also two types of points that they can earn. So one is on uh, loyalty points and also one um, is on bonus points. Oh, okay, v very exciting. And so what, when, when can we expect this uh, to play out? What's kind of the time frame we're looking at with this campaign? Yeah, so uh, it's, a, it's a one month time frame. Um, so we started on 26th July. So this will end on the 26th of August. Oh, okay, cool. So we, we have a lot of time to go. So guys, no, no rush, no stress. Just yep, make sure yep. relax and listen in for today. We're going to go into a deep dive in a moment actually as well, kind of into the different quests. Um, but for now, let's kind of understand the point system. Now, this is what gets me very excited when I see campaigns like this are sort of more interactive uses of the, uh, you know, loyalty points that we've put out and given partners the option to use. Um, so yeah, let's, let's dive right into that. So what's the, how do users earn points in this? Uh, you know, what's that process? And uh, what is the difference between a user earning loyalty points and earning bonus points? Yeah, so we have uh, seven different quests. So each of these quests, there are different ways to earn points. Um, so which I will, I, I will explain later on. Um, so for loyalty points, once you have reached the minimum requirement for one of the quests, uh, so you get you get the points for that. And for bonus points, so this is how we reward participants right, for exceeding the minimum requirements of our quest. Mm -hmm. um, and so this also plays uh, in, in the amount, uh, in, in the leaderboard system that we have, where if um, you have higher points, it gives you a higher chance of getting a higher airdrop. Um, so as we have a separate point system, so we have our own leaderboard that's outside of the Galaxy platform. So that little bot is updated daily, so you can monitor, kind of monitor your ranking on that little bot. Um, and and they can so every day, no matter what, they can just check their leaderboard whenever to kind of understand where they're at. Simple as that. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Cool. That is very exciting. This is I I really like the way you guys are doing bonus points because it's it's very tough um, when putting something together like this and and working with a larger community. Even even like smaller communities, even like ten to twenty k people, um, you know, obviously that is a I, f I feel bad, but it, it is a ten to twenty k is a lot. But now I'm just so used to having this like massive amount of people that it f doesn't feel like a lot to me. So, um, but yeah, just as an example, obviously, but it's it's tough because you want to reward in a certain way that feels right, but half the community might agree with that, half might not. So finding a balance is very tough, obviously. And I think for me personally, I feel like the safe route usually is just a regular raffle, but I really like what you guys have done with um, the bonus points and, you know, obviously increasing chance for different rewards for users to kind of give users of different varying, um, you know, activity levels a chance to win, right? You want to reach out yep. to users that can do the minimum, right? Because maybe we don't know about their schedule, right? We don't know if they can do everything. Maybe they're, you know, somewhere in the world right now where it's tough to get involved in everything and they can only get involved in the bare minimum but they still want to participate because they really enjoy participating in this project and community so i very much um i say I'm, I'm a big fan of that process it's something recently it's funny enough i i was writing notes for for an event we wanted to do in, in our community and i was thinking of something similar so obviously our minds are uh we came up with a similar idea so very very fun stuff exciting um so Let's go into the deep dive then. Let's go right into it, JJ. Um, so we're gonna start with obviously, well this and we'll go through each quest and I'll, I'll ask you a few questions. Mm -hmm. So um, obviously like Kieran mentioned, we're not fully integrated yet, um, working on it obviously. So give it time for that. Um, what are the steps that a user right now today listening would need to take to register for quests? Mm. So uh, firstly, even though we are not fully integrated with uh, Galaxy at the moment, um, you can still use the usual crypto wallet, so such as MetaMask, uh, Revy, mm -hmm. and also the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. Um, so at this time as well, uh, Chronos Network is not an option for connecting on Galaxy, uh, but the easiest way is just to connect your wallet via the Ethereum network. Um, however, when you are performing any of the quests on the Galaxy on our Galaxy campaign, you have to do it on the Chronos network. 
So for that to be counted. Um, mm -hmm. So anyway, after you have connected your wallet with Galaxy and linked your social account, so such as your Discord and your Twitter account, um, you'll have to register your wallet on uh so on a registration page that we have created. So that is that register dot crowfan dot me. Um so I will put that in the chat shortly. Um so this last step uh is kind of essential to kind of enable the campaign engine to start counting points on the on chain activity uh on Chronos blockchain. Exciting. Yep. So we have also, uh, so separately, we have also created kind of like step-by-step -step guides. Uh, yeah. So the step-by-step -step guide is also on quest.crowfam.me. Okay, cool. And we'll we'll share that in the chat as well. Is it So it's um, quest.crowfam.me slash register or just quest.crowfam.me? So there are two separate links. Two separate so one links. is register.crowfam.me and one is quest.crowfam.me. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you guys for linking that in the chat. We'll, I'll let Ilya share that um, a hyperlink for you guys, of course. So let's go into quest number one. Um, can you kind of cover, I know this one probably, I'm take a guess, uh, <laughs> more involved than obviously we usually this is where users will get involved with connecting their socials. Um, can you kind of give us the rundown? What are you looking for from users in this sense? Uh, what would you like them to connect and how do they do this? Yeah, so so quest one uh, is kind of like the easiest quest really to get started. Simple. So after you have, oh, uh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I was just adding on to to what you're saying. No worries. No worries. Continue. Oh, <laughs> so so it just uh, so after you have already linked to your Twitter and Discord account, um, so you just need to do four simple tasks. So one is just follow us on Twitter, um, and then to retweet, like our post and also to join our Kronos Discord server. Um, so this quest alone, you get 20 loyalty points for completing them. And also, if you are the top 10,000 participant on our leaderboard, you also get a special Discord role in our Kronos Discord server. And also uh, one exclusive NFT report at the end of the campaign. Cool. An exclusive NFT report, did you say? A reward reward. Oh, reward. Okay. I was sorry. I was like, yeah. NFT report. I was like, I've never heard of that. Um, thank you. No worries. Um, this, okay. Awesome. Yeah. I, I like the, a simple introduction makes it real easy to kind of get involved, get your first points and then get ready for number two. So let's go right into number two, of course, uh, quest number two top up. Can you let us know for this second quest? Um, you know, what are these specific conditions that need to be met in order to qualify when it comes to a uh, topic of, I know this involves, um, you know, the crow token itself. Yeah, sure. So uh, the minimum requirement for this quest is to top up at least 10 CRO token. Um, so you will earn 20 loyalty points if you if you are at the minimum requirement. Um, so there are two options to topping up your Kronos wallet. So one is to do a withdrawal from your crypto.com app uh, to your registered Kronos wallet address. And the second option is either through credit card purchase or bank transfer via uh, transact. Um, so after the minimum 10 uh, CRO tokens that you have uh, top up with your wallet, um, you actually can get one bonus point for each additional CRO token top up at any time during the campaign. Uh, so as an example, if you top up a uh, 200 CRO token, um, you get 10 loyalty, eh, sorry, you'll get 20 loyalty points and also you'll get 190 bonus points. And That's also right. uh, similar to the uh, to quest number one, uh, once you have finished this quest, you also get an exclusive NFT reward if you are in the top 10,000 on the leaderboard at the end of the campaign. Okay, cool. So definitely for those like re really power users, they're going to want to try to aim for that top 10, kind of like a little competition. Um, that's very fun. I love that. Oh, it's uh, top 10,000 of the leaderboard. Top 10,000 of the leaderboard. Wow. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's going to be a tough one. That, <laughs> so guys, if you make sure you're paying close attention, if you really want to get that top 10,000. Um, so let's go right into number three. 
uh, transact. So Quest Three talks about completing a minimum of ten on train on chain transactions. You know, what are some of these examples of transactions on Chronos Chain that users can um, do to complete this task? Right. So uh, examples of transactions can be just uh, transferring crypto to another wallet, uh, swapping on a decentralized exchange, staking, providing liquidity lending, borrowing. So basically any transaction that you sign on the Kronos blockchain, um, it will be counted. So there are no restrictions on any of the decentralized applications that you wish to use. Um, so I'll go a little bit about uh, on the points that you can earn in this quest as well. Um, mm -hmm. So the minimum requirement for this quest is once you complete 10 on-chain transactions during the campaign, you'll earn 20 loyalty points. And above the minimum requirement, so you get one bonus point for each additional on-chain transaction completed at any time during the campaign. So as an example, if you complete 190 transactions, um, you'll get 20 loyalty points uh, and 180 bonus points. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's cool. Um, and so, so I'm guessing, obviously, every quest will have its own form of, of bonus points, correct? Yeah, correct. And, okay. and also NFT rewards. Yeah. So each of the quests oh. that you complete, and if you are in the top 10,000 on our leaderboard, you'll get an exclusive NFT as well. Awesome. Okay, exciting. Yeah, no, that makes it very, very fun. Um, and um, so for number four, twi for number four trade, um, it mentions a couple of dApps that obviously need to be uh, completed. We have one trade on to qualify for the campaign, VVS, uh, Faro, Fulcrum, or Minted. Could you elaborate on you know what these different dApps are for users so they can, can get an understanding beforehand and uh, you know as well as what types of trades need to be made on these separate dApps? Yeah, sure. So uh, firstly, for VVS, uh, so it's one of our most popular decentralized exchange on Kronos. Um, so to qualify for a trade, you just need to swap any cryptocurrency for another cryptocurrency. Um, and then for Faro, it's a stable stock protocol on Kronos. So for this, you just need to swap any stable coin for another stable coin to qualify as a trade. That's um, and then the yep, and then there's Falcro. So that's the perpetual trading protocol on Kronos. Um, so you just need to create or update a position and market or to close the position to qualify as a trade. Um, and then there's also minted. So that's the NFT marketplace on Kronos. Um, so you just need to buy any NFT that's available on minted and then it'll qualify as a trade. Yeah. Um, so as for points, um, the minimum requirement is that you need to perform one trade with any of the depths. So you can choose any one to do. Mm -hmm. um, so doing so, you'll get 20 loyalty points. Um, and above the minimum of one trade, you get 10 bonus points for each uh, additional eligible trade during the campaign period. Okay, awesome. No, yeah, that's great. Um, I love the, you know, getting the ecosystem involved. That's always been something we've been 100% for, especially with Galaxy. We always love to do uh, multi-layered, like, ecosystem campaigns. So it's very fun to get, you know, different projects involved um, with users and letting users learn through this process, right? So, um, and you know, as you mentioned in the beginning, this is gonna be a great way for people to get involved with Kronos, so very exciting. Um, quest five, earn. Let's talk about quest five. What's the requirement for earn? Give us the rundown, um, you know, what's the process here and you know, how do we get our bonus points? Yeah, so there are four protocols that we support for this campaign. So there's VVS, Vero, Tectonic, and Falcrum. Mm -hmm. um, so the minimum requirement for this quest is to lock at least 10 CRO tokens on any of the protocols. Um, so firstly on the bonus, if uh, once you are above the 10 CRO token, you get one bonus point for every 10 CRO token that you lock thereafter. Mm -hmm. um, so cool. while the term lock is is used here, but in reality, you can actually withdraw um, your token at any time. Um, so there isn't, a, there isn't a time period where your funds will be locked up for. Yeah. yeah. So, um, no, that's great. But, 
Yeah, so there's one thing to note as well. So for this quest, um, if you wish to withdraw before the campaign ends, you, you will not get your bonus points because at the end of the campaign, we'll measure the uh, total value lock of your wallet address before before it ends. Oh, okay. So yeah, definitely be careful with that one, guys. Make sure yeah, you don't... So you uh, just have to keep, keep your CRO tokens locked. Yeah, pay close attention to that one, guys. Make sure you do not uh, remove early. So otherwise, that would be very sad to lose out on Quest 5 in that sense. Um, let's go right on to 6. Um, we have two left, 6 and 7, of course. So 6 is called Stake. Um, you know, with 6, let us know kind of the process here. Um, give us more info on, you know, wh what is Venno, um, the minimum staking period. And also, you know, this can be traded as a secondary NFT marketplace you know how does this relate to nfts how does stake relate to nfts yeah sure so uh so vino is a liquid staking protocol on chronos um so a little bit of uh background on what liquid staking protocol is so mm -hmm. traditionally when you stake your crypto assets you may be earning uh crypto from it passively but you're not able to use the funds from that right Mm -hmm. So through liquid staking, it sort of lets you continue using your assets despite it being staked. So kind of lock, unlocking your locked assets uh, in, a, in a sense. Yeah. Um, so in this case for Vino, uh, staking CRO token on Vino will give you uh, another set of tokens called LCRO tokens. Um, so with LCRO tokens, you can then use it on other decentralized applications that support it. So such as Faro, Tectonic, VVS, or uh, Single Finance, just to name a few. Um, so there isn't a minimum staking period when you stake the CRO token. Uh, however, when you wish to unstake your CRO token, uh, you'll be subjected to an unbonding period that can take up to 32 days on uh, on Reno. Um, and then, uh, so in regard to the NFT that uh, Reno has, so the NFT actually uh, appears to you once you initiate and unstake. Um, the purpose of this NFT is so that uh, if you wish to have your funds a little bit quicker, uh, there's an option for you to sell it on, on, on the NFT marketplace. And once it reaches a certain time period, you'll be able to claim the CRO that you're supposed to earn from staking your CRO token. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. No, that's very exciting. Um, thank you for the, you know, great explanation and, and little bits and points to to take in. Guys, make sure you're paying close attention. Just so you guys know, as well as we get into this, you know, last discussion of the final quest, um, this will be recorded and replayed at a later time. You guys can definitely re-listen in and kind of get all this information again if you need, as well as you can go over um, to the Kronos community and well and um, ask your questions there or continue to ask questions in the galaxy community we'll do our best to help you understand and uh, move forward and let's get into the final discussion of quest number seven um this is a fun one as i just mentioned join the community um you know can you let us know the, the process of this final one you know what is a chronos id and you know what is the purpose of the chronos id domain and you know what are the different steps for someone like myself or a brand new listener to get one today yeah, sure, sure. So Kronos ID is a decentralized identity and communication layer built on Kronos. Um, so traditionally in Web3, users are usually identified by long address strings, right? like zero X and then something uh, along the lines uh, on Ethereum. Uh, so Kronos ID sort of provides a solution to this. So with dot .pro domains. Uh, so for example, if you want to set a transaction, um, you don't have to rely on, you know, long strings of uh, hexadecimal addresses. Instead, you can you can do a, it's sort of like a shortcut. Um, mm -hmm. You can do abc.crow, for example, as a shortcut to send uh, to send your assets to another person. Um, so to in order to own one, you have to head to the Kronos ID website. So that is at kronosid.xyz. Um, so on the homepage itself you'll be able to search for your desired domain. Um, thereafter, it's actually pretty simple. You just have to follow the steps that uh, they mentioned on the platform and to, awesome. to, to, get your, to get the domain that you desire. 
No, that's that's very exciting. This is a very multi-layered covering different parts of the ecosystem. Um, exciting campaign. Uh, you know, I, I love the idea. I love the marketing. I like that you guys have taken a lot of time to make this such an interactive experience for the many users that will be getting involved, of course. And I think, you know, everybody from the Galaxy community loves when we have campaigns like these um, that do take, you know, a larger time to put together and a larger time to participate in, right? Um, you know, that's that's part of the fun that goes on around here. And I know that, you know, we have many active listeners today that were very excited to hop in today. And this super awesome. I want to thank everybody for listening. And thank you, JJ, for the awesome explanation covering the, uh, you know, different quests that users will have to get involved in um, and the way that they can earn rewards. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, and no with problem. That, we're at the end of the call today. Um, so I'll, I'll give you guys, uh, Hiran and JJ, uh, any final words for the users today before I close out the call? Anything you'd like them to check out immediately, obviously, as well as, of course, the, the campaign? Yeah, I think one last thing to add. Um, so if, if anyone here uh, is facing any kind of support issues or if they have any questions regarding the campaign, um, they can head to our Discord server. So we have a dedicated channel for FAQ. Um, and also, um, if there are any assistance required when going through the campaign, um, we have our Produce Ambassadors in the Discord server, so they'll be happy to help with any inquiries. Amazing. So you can ask them in the Chronos dash Galaxy channel. Um, and then for any sensitive issues uh, when, when partaking in the, in the campaign, um, they can create a support ticket in the Discord channel and we'll have someone to look at the issue. Um, so you can join our Discord at crowfam.me slash Discord. Amazing. Thank you, JJ. Here, and any final words today? Oh, good. I think JJ pretty much covered it really well and extensively. Amazing. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, JJ. Thank you, Hiran. Super excited for this campaign. Super excited for what's to come from Kronos. Um, I never thought, yeah, I, I, I think back on the time that I very early interacted with uh, like Kronos Chain. Um, crazy to think I get to chat with you guys today. So very excited to have you guys. Thank you so much for coming on and giving wonderful explanations and detailed discussion covering, you know, such a, a fun and different area. Uh, wishing you guys the best for the rest of, you know, quarter three, of course. Looking forward to this campaign and the many things that we do going into the future. Appreciate you guys very much. And I hope your your puppy has a wonderful rest for the evening. Thank you so much. Uh, feel free to head out for the day. Of course, yeah. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks really so much. Fun. Yeah, and your yeah. community is really awesome. I love all the questions and uh, the sort of interactions that I'm seeing in the chat. So, yeah. Well, they they to... love joining weekly. We we yeah, we're on uh week twenty nine. So I've kind of got we've got a more a bunch of regulars that love to come in and chat. So it's very fun. Oh, all right. See you guys in the Chrono Summer Cruise then. Thanks so much, guys. Um, feel free to to head out, uh, JJ and Kieran. Um, for for everybody listening right now, obviously the hour is up, so we will end out the call for today. Um, go check out Twitter. Uh, go check out. Kronos Twitter, um, go check out the campaign, participate, have some fun. If you guys have any questions, troubles, or problems, obviously we're here in the Discord. The support chat and ticket system is there. Feel free to make your um, troubles known and we will do our best to help you or a cadet will do their best to help you. Those are the Galaxy Community Ambassadors, the uh, contributors, the Space Cadets. Love those guys. Love you all for listening. Thank you so much. Um, appreciate you joining. Um, wherever you are in the world, have a good morning, good afternoon, or a good night. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.